On today's episode of Conversations with Leaders in CTRM Technology, we'll be visiting Dr. Jens Bartenschlager, uh, CEO and founder of Fidectus. Hello and welcome to our latest episode of Conversations with Leaders in CTRM Technology. Today, we're visiting with Dr. Jens Bartenschlager. Uh, CEO and founder of Fidectus, a provider of an electronic post-trade services platform. Jens, thanks for joining us. Hey, Pat- Patrick, uh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, and I appreciate your time. I know it's late there, uh, but uh, it's always uh, nice to be able to catch up with uh, leaders such as yourself. So I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, so, for those that aren't uh, familiar with Fidectus, uh, can you give us an overview of uh, the products, the services, uh, and the markets that you guys address? Sure, absolutely. So, we focus on post-trading and uh, physical and financial over-the-counter energy markets. So, we come in once an OTC trade has been executed, right? You will not see us in the origination execution itself. But once it's done, we come in, we provide services, and we get out pretty much when the physical delivery has been delivered and paid. Mm-hmm. Um, so we help our clients to fully automate a couple parts in the post-trade lifecycle, which is basically translating to confirmations, things like regulatory reporting, the settlement itself, things like netting to reduce the credit risk, financing and payment. And uh, we simply make OTC trading easier even as exchange-based trading. So some of our smaller clients are not getting access to market they had struggled with before. Uh, mainly due to complexity and cost, we simply take out of the equation. So, so mm-hmm. kind of you can say we are becoming a clearinghouse without being a clearinghouse. And uh, our main market currently is Europe with a timely ambition to enter the US and Asian markets. Mm-hmm. I, I think you've touched on it, but ultimately, what's, what's the value proposition uh, for those that use Fidectus? Absolutely. So, so we connect market participants and enable them to better manage their working capital. That's what it translates to in the end. So we help them unlock things they could not do before. So uh, what we start with is basically the foundation. So reconciliation, automation, digitization. It's all great to have, but it really enables our clients to better manage their liquidity or to reduce their credit risk or free up trading limits if they uh, need to for whatever reason, right? Basically, we provide them the tools to do so, which was not possible for them before. On top of that, uh, we give them tools around the data analytics reporting dashboards to make uh, better decisions than they were able to do in the past. So when we look at the European markets, uh, they're, uh, they've been more accepting of, of new technologies. And, and I think you guys have, have found a fertile ground there in, in Europe. Uh, you did mention that you're looking towards the U.S. as a, as a growth market. Um, what's been the reception so far as you've approached the, the U.S. players? Actually, it's been absolutely receptive, very positive. Uh, we, we're actually getting more and more inbounds from the US market. So what we have learned is that a lot of pain that is currently caused is exactly uh, by what you say. It it is a mature market with entrenched processes. And uh, the thing is market participants increasingly realize that they have maybe focused on symptoms uh, instead of solving the real problem. Uh, I wanna give you an example. Um, If you do business there and you have, I don't know, 100 or maybe a smaller one, 10 condo parties, you receive, in the worst case, 10 different structured documents, settlement documents, invoices, or confirmations. And then you need to cope with a couple of things, OCR, some kind of reconcile it. So basically, um, you, you, you build a snowflake yourself. Instead of going down a path as referring to, to, to Europe, uh, based on standards, we, we call it normalization pretty much, right. um, which solves the, the, the underlying problem. So we get access to the raw data of our client systems and literally take uh, over the rest of the complexity on their behalf. So we actually avoid things like that happening. Um, once they learn that, uh, we, we get into interesting discussions there already, uh, there is a quick phase of shock, right? Maybe sometimes even frustration or denial, but then they quickly switch gear and get engaged in experimenting with our solution. And uh, the results so far are really promising. Well, the feedback basically is um, your platform can do it. We can see that the platform can do it. 
Um, but we also know the devil is in the detail. And that's what we are working uh, on currently to adjust the solution uh, to cope with the nuances of the North American market and its very specifics around uh, uh, the commodities there. Right, right. Uh, as part of your, your market penetration strategy, I know you've been developing uh, uh, partnerships across the industry and, and in particular with ETRM system providers. I've to spoken to a number of them that you guys have, have begun to work with. How important is that, that partnership network to you? Or, or put it another way, can somebody use the platform and realize value from the platform without utilizing the ETRM connections or, or the partnerships that you've established? Absolutely. So um, what I hear you ask me is pretty much two questions. So let me answer the first one. Um, so the vendors, ETRM vendors, accounting settlement system vendors we're working with out there are an important part of our strategy. It's one of the big pillars, right? Um, they pretty much help us build the infrastructure to make a community access frictionless for the market participants. They can simply onboard suddenly in a matter of days and not weeks or months anymore. And uh, they also still have the ability to compete against their competitors in a way of how deep they want to integrate uh, into our solution. We, we don't really mind. So you can, you can integrate the basic functionality, but you can also integrate deeply and provide your clients a user experience in a way that they don't even need to leave their system. It's, it's up to our partners. That's what, what's making it part of what's making it so successful. Um, the best of it, the clients are benefiting of it and, and that literally don't have any operational risk. So the second part of your question, what I heard you ask is, can others enjoy the benefits as well? You know, absolutely, yes. A substantial part of our vision and strategy is about simplicity. It, it, it's part of our strategy. It's part of our product strategy. So let me tell you what that means. For example, we make connectivity irrelevant for our clients and their business partners. They just choose what they prefer, what works for them. There is multiple opportunities, right? They can do a RESTful API implementation themselves. They can simply drop files into an SFTP or they connect things via email. They, they, they send us PDFs. So they don't even need to do any kind of IT integration and it simply works. So we make it work seamless, for everybody out there, um, not only to integrate themselves into the process or to apply the standards, but more importantly, they can still reach the whole market, no matter what their counterparties do. That's a big part of the magic there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so you, you've, you've talked about the European energy markets, you, you've mentioned North America. Uh, what's, what's on the blueprint for uh, Fidectus going forward? What other markets, commodities, services are you guys looking at offering in the, in the near term? So basically our go-to market strategy <coughs> excuse me, aligns with two dimensions. It's commodities and it's the post-trade coverage of, of some of the products I've mentioned before. So currently, we do power gas, we do emissions in Europe. The coal is just about to launch. Um, and we cover the full post-trade life cycle from, from the confirmation down to the payment. Um, however, it's always been our plan to enter the North American market. And lately we have an increasing number of, of market participants uh, asking us to do, for example, North American natural gas and, and Rex specifically. Right. And to offer um, the the services we have on top of that, remember that the foundation I was talking about, reconciliation, automation around those commodities is important. But what it unlocks then is things like the netting, financing. Imagine you have a contract uh, in place, a bilateral contract. It's beneficial for you to change it, but it's not for your counterparty. You're kind of stuck. So we even have a solution around that, which, which we call financing. So uh, you, you, you can apply for earlier payments, later payments. We have that odd situation in the negative interest uh, 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 area like the, Europe, uh, the, the Euro and the Swiss franc. However, to cut a long story short, there's another use case around payment in, in the US. Um, and that's pretty much what you will see us doing in the US next. Mm -hmm. Oh, great, great. Uh, I, I think that's all the time we've got for today, but uh, it's been very interesting and I appreciate you taking the time to visit with us, Jens. Thank you, Patrick. Absolutely, well, we'll catch up again soon. 
Great. So that's it for uh, this episode of Conversations with Leaders in CTRM Technology. For more videos like this, please visit the CTRMCenter.com website or our corporate website at contactadvisory.com. Uh, you can also check out our podcast, CTRM Radio, on both of those platforms. So again, thanks for joining us and uh, look forward to visiting again soon.